with two huge potential signings and more this is wrestling hub my name is john and you're watching the wrestling report before we get into the rest of the video make sure you subscribe to wrestling hub and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with everything in the world of pro wrestling also don't forget to follow us on instagram at wrestling hub official and follow us on twitter at wrestling underscore hub Talking about making the jump from WWE to AEW, Chris Jericho told the Allison Hagendorf show, probably leaving WWE to go with AEW. We didn't even have TV at the time, just my boss, Tony Khan, had a lot of passion and he had the money for it. And we had a roster of guys that I felt could do something. When I got involved, we were able to get on TBS and kind of went from there. So I just think it was one of those things where I thought, I've done all I can do in WWE and I can stay here, but I don't want to just stay here. I don't want to just be a guy. Let's try and change history. Let's make wrestling a better industry and we've done that because now there's a viable second company that people can work at and fans can watch but it was a real risk man because wwe had such a monopoly for so many years for us to come in there and get such a great demo and a great fan base out of the gate is something i don't think anybody really expected they thought we'd be dead and gone in six months In an interview with the Dallas Morning News, Raquel Rodriguez was asked about her desire to join the LWO, saying, Trust me, there have been many thoughts of Raquel Rodriguez in the LWO. I'd love to be a part of the LWO. Everyone who's in the LWO at the moment are family to me. I started just a little bit before Del Toro signed with NXT. When he came in, he just immediately felt like a brother to me, and we bonded immediately. He's always been there for me. It's really been hard that we're on separate brands because, again, it's like family. Same thing for Escobar. You know, Santos, he came into WWE. And immediately it just felt like I had another brother in the business. I'm already part of that family. In a sense, I do feel like I'm part of the LWO. It just hasn't been made official yet. Going over WWE's perception of two superstars on Raw, it was reported that Fightful sources had indicated that both Kofi Kingston and Ivar had received high marks for their WWE Raw matches of late. Their first match came as a result of Eric being sidelined. Viking Raiders and New Day had been slated for a lot of time for their two out of three falls match. Instead of cutting it when Eric got injured, they just had Ivar and Kofi Kingston wrestle the duration of the scheduled time. The match got praise heaped on it. One producer noted that Ivar hadn't had a singles match on WWE TV in nearly five years that went over 10 minutes and said that not only did he not miss a beat, he impressed many backstage. Ringside News added, it was also noted that follow-up matches with Xavier Woods and Viking Rules matches with Kofi Kingston also gained praise and caused WWE to remain open-minded on using Ivar in a singles capacity. Explaining why he decided to not join AEW, Eric Young told House of Wrestling, I talked with some friends there and people that I trust, and Tony Khan kind of mentioned that he was interested, but it just never materialized. And the truth is, I'm just going to get lost in the ether and in the mix like 60 other people there, right? The truth is, I don't have his confidence. Me and him aren't close in any way, shape, or form. I'm kind of replacing one set of problems for another, and I have nothing against Tony Khan. From everything I know, he's a very nice man. I met him a couple of times in passing. He treats the wrestlers with respect he pays them very well and is a very respectful man and a kind man so it's nothing against the product or nothing against him it's just not my place impact wrestling is my home and that's where i wanted to be so that's where i am We had previously reported that Vince McMahon is out of the creative department of WWE. This was said regarding past changes made by McMahon, as Fightful noted. The changes seemed overnight, even though Vince McMahon didn't interact directly with creative this year, which means a guy like Ryan Ward or Rob Fee or names you might know on the creative team didn't have interactions with Vince McMahon to the best of our knowledge. A lot of those changes may have looked minimal to the creative team, I'm told, but to others it wasn't so minimal because there were certain talent who weren't being used because Vince McMahon man didn't want to use so they couldn't use them therefore a lot of their creative couldn't be changed when mcmahon learned of creative plans he would make remote adjustments along the way and he would indicate wrestlers he did or didn't want on the show
As Impact Wrestling is set to rebrand as TNA, New Japan Pro Wrestling star Will Ospreay is going to become a free agent. He has previously noted that Impact has expressed interest in him signing with the company, with him hinting at joining TNA at a TV taping. Here's the clip. Best 
wrestler in the world. Yes! Yes! Best in the you world. All the top names, and you can add Speedball, Mike Bailey, and me to the list right now. But if you want to come to TNA, understand 2023 might be your year. But TNA ain't here till 2024. And listen up, bruv. 2024 is going to be Josh Alexander's year. And I say I'm still up by beating the Billy Goat. Yeah! Hard to kill! Hard to kill! Wrestling. Well, no, Impact Wrestling's dead. The new era. I want to hear everybody in this building chant TNA so the world, the roster, the staff, and the Billy Goat can hear. Because you're coming back to my house in 2020. Yeah! Speaking of those that could be heading to Impact Wrestling, CM Punk was spotted backstage at Sunday's taping for Axis TV, according to House of Wrestling. He arrived just before the tapings began and was then taken to the locker room as he was chatting with most and even key Impact talent. It remains to be seen if the former AEW champ returns to WWE or possibly ends up with TNA. And this was your Pro Wrestling News Update. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.